So in the last few videos, we have seen how to create an activity and we have seen what goes on inside the Java code of our activity, the activity lifecycle. The other part of the activity was the UI and that UI, as you had seen, was described in an XML file called activity underscore main dot XML. Uh, okay, so what are these XML files? These are called layout XML files and why do they exist? So a very good explanation of layout files are available on the Android developer docs on the layout page and I would recommend all of you read that page. Okay, uh, so let us take a look at why do layout files exist in the first place. There are two ways of uh, creating the user interfaces in Android. Uh, one way is uh, we can create objects of view classes and then add them into our current view. Uh, that is a little more cumbersome and uh, does not look really as nice as the XML class because uh, the XML uh, files because in the XML files what we do is we write it in a very declarative way similar to how HTML is written. Okay. So instead of creating objects we simply describe the views that are going to go inside my XML file. Let's uh, go down to uh, the code of uh, that uh, basic app that uh, we had been building. Its uh, main activity has this uh, simple piece of code. It uh, does a set content view on on create, and uh, this is our XML file uh, which uh, we taking a look at. What does this XML file, uh, how is this XML file created? Now this is a standard uh, XML version 1.0 file which means that uh, the first line of this uh, file uh, would have uh, this thing version 1.0 written, this uh, HD XML tag would be there at the top of the file and uh, then we would start creating elements after that like this, okay. Now uh, in a layout XML file we cannot add any element that we wish to. Any element that we add, for example, constraint layout here or text view, what are these items? So if you hold the control button or the command button on uh, Mac OS and click on them, you will see that uh, constraint layout is a Java class that extends view group. And similarly text view is a java class that extends view so we can add only java classes that extend either view or view group into our xml files elements inside an xml file are defined like this with an opening tag and a closing tag if there are nothing inside a particular tag we can use an enclosing tag like this or we can write a separate starting and closing tag and then write any eight items that will go inside the text view. These entities are called pro properties or attributes of an XML. All those attributes that start with the word layout underscore means that this is a property that helps relate this view to its parent view. Properties that do not start with layout means that it's a property of this text view itself. Let's open the preview, see uh, what does this create. Now if you change the text inside uh, hello world, uh, let's I add some more exclamation marks, you can see that it's immediately reflected. We can add more views like there exists a view called button or let, uh, and we will have to give it a width and a height. A wrap content parameter means that it is going to only take as much space as it requires and a match parent parameter means it will take as much space as it can get. If I use wrap content for width, wrap content for height, my button would be of this size. Let us add a text into this button. we can add hello into this button. By default, this button is created at the top left corner of the screen. But if you want this button to be vertically centered, you can constrain the bottom to the bottom of the screen. 
and the top to the top of the screen.